Hello, my name is Kevin Ohlendorf, and I'm the president of the Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory. We understand how much you value education, and we want to share the knowledge and experience that our laboratory has accumulated over the last 80 years since we've been in business. We're experts in appliance therapy. In this video, I'm going to discuss the many different types of night guards and splints that can be fabricated. We're going to break them into two separate categories. The first category will describe bruxism night guards that are worn at night to protect the teeth from grinding and excessive wear. The second category will discuss splints and orthotics that are worn full time to relieve TMJ pain and headaches. Let's get started with our bruxism night guards. One of the most basic night guards is our soft night guard. This guard is made of a soft vinyl material and is very comfortable for the patient to wear. It's fabricated on a Biostar positive pressure machine to provide the tightest fit possible. The appliance can be worn on the upper or the lower arch depending on the doctor's preference. The patient's mandible is free to slide around with this appliance in place. We do not place indents on the occlusion and the mandible is not locked in place. This appliance will not last as long as a hard acrylic night guard. Patients can chew through them over time and they will need to be replaced. There is no way to adjust the night guard to make it tighter. You can relieve some of the material if it's too tight. The soft night guard is a very inexpensive option for patients to wear at night to protect their teeth or restorations. The most popular night guard that we fabricate is the hard acrylic night guard or bruxism splint. This appliance is made of a clear, hard acrylic and held in place with ball clasps. A strengthening wire is added to improve the durability of the appliance. It can be made to be worn on the upper or the lower arch. This is usually the doctor's preference and we make about 50% uppers and 50% lowers. The hard acrylic night guard is designed to protect the teeth and restorations from the harmful effects of nighttime bruxing and grinding. It is primarily worn at night. We normally fabricate this night guard with medium indents on the occlusal surface. If you would like deeper, smaller, or no indents at all, please let us know. We can customize the occlusal surface any way you want. The hard soft night guard has a soft inner liner like a sports mouth guard, but a hard acrylic shell for more durability. The soft liner is very comfortable for the patient to wear and the hard shell allows the appliance to last longer than the soft night guard. We fabricate about 50% on the upper arch and 50% on the lower arch depending on the doctor's preference. This appliance is very effective to protect the teeth at night when nocturnal forces can damage the teeth or restorations. This is a good option if the patient has many restorations. The soft liner can be more gentle on the restorations compared to the hard acrylic surface. There are no clasps with this appliance and some patients feel the soft liner is more comfortable compared to metal clasps and hard acrylic. We normally place medium indents in the occlusion for the opposing arch. If you'd like something different, please let us know. A special night guard that we fabricate is a talon night guard. It's made with a thermocryl inner shell and a hard acrylic outer shell. The patient heats the inner portion under hot tap water and this softens the acrylic to make it easier to insert. As the thermocryl inner shell cools down, it hardens to the same strength as the outer shell and locks into the undercuts. This process makes it very retentive without the need for clasps. The appliance can be worn on the upper or the lower arch, whichever you or the patient prefers. This night guard is thinner than the hard, soft night guard I showed earlier. The occlusal surface can have any depth of indents or no indents at all. Please let us know how you would like us to finish it. For patients who are suffering from headaches and TMJ issues, there are a variety of splints or orthotics that can be worn. These appliances help to relieve the TMJ issues and also work the same as the night guards I showed previously to protect the teeth from bruxing and grinding at night. 
Most splints and orthotics are worn 24 hours a day to protect the joint as much as possible. Let's take a look at some of the different types of splints and orthotics. For many years, the standard TMJ splint has been the Gelb splint. It's made of hard acrylic and only covers the posterior teeth. The splint has ball clasps on each side for good retention and a bar to hold the posterior segments together. To make the appliance as comfortable as possible, the anterior acrylic is removed so it's easier for the patient to eat and function with it in place. It is always made on the lower arch. The Gelb splint can be used to bring the mandible down and forward into a pain-free position and increase the vertical to decompress the joint to allow it to function more normally. Most doctors prefer deep or heavy indents of the upper arch so the patient is forced to bite in a specific position that is determined by a joint x-ray and transferred to us by the bite registration. The appliance should be worn 24 hours per day even when the patient eats. This appliance is not designed for long-term wear and should be worn for no more than six months. Since there is nothing on the lingual of the anteriors, they may super erupt if the appliance is worn for more than six months. A modification to the Gelb splint is the TMJ pull forward splint. This splint is very similar to the Gelb splint except there is an acrylic apron behind the anteriors instead of the Gelb bar. The lingual acrylic behind the anteriors will prevent them from super erupting so the patient can wear this splint long term. We will carry the lingual acrylic up to the incisal edge but not over it. This reduces the bulk of the acrylic so the patient can eat, speak, and function with it in place. The TMJ pull forward splint is made on the lower arch and should be worn 24 hours per day even when the patient eats. Deep indents of the upper arch will hold the mandible forward in the pain free position. A good construction bite is very important so we can finish the occlusal surface to the correct vertical and AP position. We will discuss the bites later on in this video. One of the first options for some TMJ patients is an anterior deprogrammer. This appliance is worn on the upper arch and can, can be made of all acrylic or a hard soft combination. An anterior bite plane is placed to open the vertical so the patient's posterior teeth do not touch. The only teeth contacting the deprogrammer are the lower anterior teeth. The bite plane can be flat so the mandible can slide around to find a pain-free position or it can be inclined to open the vertical and reposition the mandible forward. This appliance is only worn at night. It prevents the mandible from compressing the joint as the patient sleeps. It can also be very effective night guard to protect the teeth from bruxing and grinding. Some patients will wear a splint during the day and a deprogrammer at night for optimal relief and positioning. Please let us know if you'd like a flat or incline anterior bite plane when you send us this case. This TMJ orthotic was developed by Dr. J. Gerber. It's a lower appliance fabricated from hard acrylic with multiple ball clasps on each side for good retention and a braided anterior wire to increase the strength. The appliance is worn on the lower arch and it has deep indents and a small lingual flange to make sure that the patient bites and functions in the desired anterior position and vertical. This neuromuscular orthotic will bring the mandible down and forward to decompress the joints and allow the muscles to function properly. The orthotic is worn 24 hours per day and it's important that the patient eats with it in place. Dr. Gerber recommends taking the construction bite with the assistance of a TENS unit or K7. The Gerber orthotic is worn to get the patient out of pain and help find the correct position of the mandible to keep them out of pain long term. The FACT or Functional Advancing Condylar Translation Appliance was developed by Dr. Terry Spall. This hybrid orthotic is designed to advance the mandible down and forward into the correct pain-free position. The splint is similar to a Gelb splint but it has buckle, walls, or flanges to prevent lateral movement and it has deep indentations. This appliance is only worn on the lower arch and must be worn 24 hours per day especially while eating. 
Dr. Spall routinely has the patient wear a bionator at night to prevent the mandible from falling back while the patient sleeps. The fact appliance is made with the mandible brought forward so the condyles are in the correct 4-7 position. Dr. Spall will verify this position with an x-ray of the joint to make sure the condyle is positioned down and forward to decompress the joint. The construction bite is very important to make sure it represents the exact position of the mandible vertically and anteriorly. There are two factors that are very important in the construction of night guards and splints. They are accurate models and an accurate construction bite made to the correct vertical and AP relationship. The most crucial part of the models is the posterior, especially the last molar. It's very important to completely capture the last molar and specifically the distal aspect of it. Any distortion in this area can cause the patient's bite to be open where the patient is only hitting on the splint in the posterior or second molar area. A small amount of distortion can cause a large discrepancy in the anterior region. It's also important that no bubbles or voids exist on the occlusal surface of the opposing model. These imperfections can cause the occlusal surface of the night guard to change and also lead to issues with the fit of the appliance. An accurate construction bite can make all the difference when it comes to the fit of a night guard or splint. For most night guards, all we need is a construction bite that has the bite open 2 millimeters between the posterior teeth. For a TMJ splint or orthotic, the mandible will need to be advanced to the position that you want it and we will still need about 2 millimeters of opening between the posteriors. The 2 millimeters of vertical will make sure the appliance is thick enough so it won't break. A George gauge can be helpful to take the bite with the mandible advanced. A couple tips can help make sure your bite is correct. Be sure to try your construction bite on the models in your office before you send us the case. You want to make sure the models see completely into the bite and there are no voids. You may need to trim the bite so you can see how the bite seats on the teeth. If you take the bite with the patient sitting up in the chair, be sure to initially seat the appliance with the patient in the same position. When the patient is laying back in the chair, the mandible can fall back and lead to the patient only hitting in the posterior. When you go to seat the appliance, if the patient is only hitting in the posterior, have the patient slide their mandible forward slightly. This sometimes will allow them to move into the appliance so they are hitting evenly. Accurate models and an accurate construction bite taken at the beginning can save you valuable chair time when you go to seat the appliance. Thank you for watching this video on night guards and splints. As you can tell, there are many varieties and uses for these appliances, and I hope I have helped to answer some questions you may have about them. The Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory has been an expert in the field of appliance therapy since we opened our doors in 1933. We have many resources to share with you and your staff, including this chair side chart for your staff. This laminated chart provides a brief explanation of the splints and night guards and lets you know what is needed for us to construct them and what type of bite to send along with the models. These are free of charge and you can order them just by calling us or emailing us. We have additional charts like this for other appliances that are available. Ask us what is available when you call. One of the main things that separates our laboratory from all the others is our expert technical support team. If you have any questions about splints or night guards, please give us a call. We will help out any way that we can and we want to be a resource for you and your staff. If you'd like to go over a specific design for the way you'd like to have your appliances fabricated, we'd love to hear from you. We'll take detailed notes so we fabricate the appliance the way you want it every time you send us a case. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you will consider sending us your cases the next time you need a splint or night guard fabricated.